Right. Not the one we're looking for, but I'm gonna look it's at a... it anyway. It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. I think they are then. There it is. Nothing else. Alright then. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> I prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. Oh. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Whoa. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than Her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? We have to notify him. Can't rule him out. Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. I'm gonna check with the mirror. Ooh, but first, perhaps I can take a look at this one as well. Book of Fables. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. Is that Beauty and the Beast? That red hiding a woodsman? Cinderella. Hey! Hmm. Me. The woodsman? Yep, and his axe. Holy hell, those dwarves ain't so nice looking. Yeah, dwarves. Less said about that, the better. Yeah, that's me. Back oh, when. Oh, what I mean, Snow White. Ugh. Long time ago. Let's see, little red. Hmm. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. Oh, so Red is dead? Beauty in happier days. And the beast. And her man, Beast. Funny. Oh. Colin and his brothers. Oh, they don't have names? I wanna know! There we have her. I'm gonna check her last, and there we have the Ichabod Crane, scared shitless. What's that? Your boss, his finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Miss the Toad. Can I? There we go. Nice hat. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. 
And there we have it. The sigil. Yeah. That's her, all right. Long time ago. Hmm. Alright. Enough history lesson. Let's head to the mirror again. See if... It can tell me something about Prince Lawrence. But what do we have here? Tarot deck. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Ask about the tarot card to the mirror. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Fine then. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Do we have Prince Lawrence, Faith's father? Show me... Show me Faith. I suppose that's Through it. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, Steps these lips are, are sealed. sealed. These lips are sealed. That's some it's not my powerful choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. That's some powerful magic. So Faith's father. Show me Faith's father. The old king. Dead. Alright. Yes, that crosses him off the suspect list. Good to know. And Prince Lawrence. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Wait, what? What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Right. Nobody Let's right now. Go then. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. This is a Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Oh? Bigby, it's me, oh. Doug. You there? What do you want? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Okay, so perhaps I gotta choose where to go first. Prince Lawrence, he had a blood knife, or Toad, who seems to be in trouble, someone going through the woodsman, woodsman's things. Hmm. That's kind of annoying, but I think we're gonna go to Toad if I get to choose.
Or is simply the game trying to fool me? Did Toad that? say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Oh. Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Oh boy. This is a big choice. This is a very big choice. But. God damn it, let's go to Toad. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Hopefully we can, but I'm okay. afraid he'll I'm just. Not looking forward to breaking the news. Skip town. Something like that. Can they actually leave the town? Woodman's apartment, South Bronx. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse than the day. <laughs> Is somebody up there? No. Oh, that was fast. Wait here. Perhaps it's better to stay quiet and just surprise him. Where did he go? Shit. <coughs> Nothing? Seriously? He kind of just... Okay, I don't know. Anything's puzzling this one. That's enough, all right? Just shut it! <laughs> what kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? Woodsman never did much reading anyway. Anything, anything at all? Come on. There has to be a clue somewhere. If he jumped out there, Snow would have seen him. Unless Snow protects him as well. Should probably get that fixed. Helen doesn't make this much of a mess. Fine, nothing then. Knock, knock. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. <laughs> Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. You called. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There was. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? What's he hiding? Why's he crying? Are you alright? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. Oh, yes. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? 
The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. I have a seat. I have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? Work that magic snow. It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Smash lamp. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? It wasn't connected. It's not supposed to be connected here. And we have some blood. You bleeding? Why? You say it's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I'll cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a rap. Show me. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother-ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... that's how it happened, didn't it? Oh, I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. but like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no. I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? Because you're lying. I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not- and you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Mm, what else? What else? About this window. Any blood out there. Scratches. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. I no. There's marks here on the window sill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. Can we ask Junior? about what they did last night. 
No, 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 wait. There was, there was one more thing there. Let's poke it. Dust string. Ah, uh, there we go, the lamp. Over here, too. What you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? That's the lamp. <laughs> Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are it you... It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? So is it the magic number three we need to discover? How many lies? I'm going to talk to Toad and see what he says. I think Mal Jr. has a crush on your girl. Don't think Toad, I know where you're lying, Toad. Look around more. Look around more. Let's talk to Snow, see if she's found out anything. Though most people think they are. Uh huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Can they say? Stay with the kid until I figure out what. Hmm. Busted latch? Oh! I thought I was leaving here. Nope. Someone kicked why in the door. Why is the lock busted? Eh? Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. A spot of dust and a broken lock. What are you getting at, mate? For Christ's sake, a fucking log's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Bust it up, then why climb? Then why climb in the window? Why'd you climb in through the window, then? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head. That's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing. You're bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... They're sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? No. Not yet. Not yet? You say to my face that you think I'm hiding something from you. Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. Plenty's so when, here. When are you going to leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When you start telling me the truth, Toad. But I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Mm. I cut me end. I broke the lamp. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Hello. Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Lamp in the head. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, I... A Tweedle, Dame or D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something a woodsman ain't. Or thought he ain't. I don't know. 
He tore up the place. Beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I can tell you that. Did I have... Do you know what he was looking for? Oh. I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Dark skin. Fine bit of dress it is. There we go. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. And no. Wait. An envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Oh, bloody hell. Fine, we'll go to Lawrence and see what it's all about. Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Even Let's try and give it to him. Hopefully. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't He'll it? go nice on us I when we approach out, him but I'm about afraid it. Of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. What a charm of that snow. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. So I'm Great, so now we have a Not letter for him. Really. Hopefully Let that'll do... That way. Make things go smoother. Lawrence's apartment, South Bronx. Early morning. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just... Humor me. Let's focus on what we saw in the mirror. It's not that simple. Anything. We're here to question Lawrence. Bump him up on the suspect list or cross him off entirely. Okay. What is it? I just... I just don't think he did it. In cases like these, isn't it usually the husband? For Mondays, maybe. But this is different. We'll see once we give him the letter. Can I peek inside? Let's see if... Was hiding something before we enter. This blood. Oh, okay. Go, go, go. It's a body inside. I think we're just gonna open it. Has he been dead for? Oh, perhaps he was alive before. Fresh body, I suppose. Oh my god. So, uh, let's see, Snow. Go get Dr. Swinar. I'll stay with you. No! No. Let me go. She. What is it that you're telling us? Water. Bigby, water. Kitchen. Where's the kitchen? Oh. Let's 
Can I check on this note before? Pay the rent next week. Pizza's on the fridge. Please don't look for me. Goodbye. Seven. Did you find it yet? Who is seven? There you go. If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. Let's see, do you hear faint? Who did this to you? What happened? Who did this to you? Perhaps it means it's because. <sighs> Do you still have that letter? Yeah, let's open it and see. Yes. Should I open it? It's a clue. I'm not sure if it's right. Yes. You should. There might be something that helps us. A clue. Or a lead. I need to know. What does it say? I'm sorry. Faith. It's only two words. But he died without seeing them. I'm sorry too. We need to figure out what happened here, and find whoever did this. What about the knife? He didn't say for how long he was dead. As you can see, he stacked up quite a ma pile of mail.